Okay. I'm going to give you an example of what I just experienced by virtue of a decision that I made that's based on a prior experience, and a prior experience is called a reaction state. And I don't want to ignite the same reversal spin reaction state if I communicate in a way in which that unit of consciousness that experiences holographically the hypertext that I put in their window, my intention is not for them to experience the same reaction state that I experienced in me, that they experienced in them as a result of what I put in their window. And so this is when we get into libraries and circulation libraries as it relates to levels of operation or operating a DNA operating system software. And what it comes to learning and learning speed and cellular memories, which are cellular frequency coded memories, which are fire letter memories of sound recordings, which is the speed at which they're building a library or deconstructing a library or recoding a library based on the codes that they're running to experience who they are running codes, which is the software codes that they're running, which means they're running a template with their consciousness the essence of their spirit. So for example, I put something in somebody's window in the past and then the reaction from that was they were experiencing by virtue of what they communicate to me that I was being condescending or disrespectful. Okay. That's not my intent to do that. But it was based on the way that they translate the codes, which is based on the hypertext that they experienced in them that they communicate back to them what they experienced within them. So they're communicating what they experienced in them, which was to experience being condescending when it wasn't my intention to experience condescending in me or you. Because that's not what I am. I am what love is. So I'm simply communicating information that's based on what I've learned by virtue of the speed at which I'm learning to rebuild. Okay? Because that's what we're doing. Okay, so I was going to put something in this being's window and then I decided not to do that because of that, which is called risk, risk factor. Okay, you know, you know what a risk factor is. You don't want them to experience what they communicated before in the future, which is a future memory of what they recorded in them. Because if they communicate something similar in language that's based on the English language, which is reversal spin, and they experience a similar reaction state based on a similar spin. Now we're into patterns, consciousness patterns, spinning spiral patterns, that it's best that I, if I just put the video link in there on a related subject. And this is where we get into circulation libraries And the speed at which libraries are communicating to other libraries, which are circuits, which are circulation libraries, which is cross-indexing. See? So in other words, all the experiences that are held in memory, which have all been sound recorded through fire letter codes that they have access to and operate off that library, which is language. In the way that computers or biofield DNA terminals communicate with one another. Now we're back to memory wipes and recoding the language to speak a different language, which is called perception vibration frequencies, or in this case, reverberation. You know what a reverb is, right? Re-verb. So we know what a verb is in the English language. And reverberation, the shock wave through the central nervous system, which are endocrine disruptors operating in an alien, intelligent, finite, deadlight hologram. Okay. And this has everything to do with learning speed as it relates to learning how to successfully operate and checkmate deadlight, finite light, alien, artificial intelligence. 
when you're operating in an AI battlefield environment. Okay. As I've mentioned many times, it's learning through us, which means it's a war game strategist, just like you saw in the Matrix. I seem to have a strange connection with you, Neo, because you came first. I came later. So Mr. Smith said, it's your fault, Neo. All right. Now you're into what we call insults. So like when I was a child, please do not insult my creator because I'm experiencing what love is. Don't communicate to them because we can expose what they're held captive to by the language that they're running and code through their template. Now you're into the male dominator side of things, which means now we're back into magnets, magnetic poles, right? Gender neutral, equal unto all creation. The first magnet, an eternal magnet, an eternal star. The first star, the first spirit, the first line of communication. Eternal, pure, absolute love. So this is when I, I, I realize I'm, I'm a touchy-feely person. It's what I feel, right? And then, so we're choosing on how to communicate in a way in which we're simply imparting information that might be of benefit or value to you, right? But what your reaction, what their cell's reaction is going to be is not up to me, right? It's going to be up to them in a free choice universe. And now we're into the miasma and what we're held captive to through codes, the codes that we're running when we have dead light codes communicating to living codes, eternal living creation codes, and dead light, finite light implosion codes between software network communications and why they rolled this tech out, right? has everything to do with reaction states, which means we're reacting to the input signal of what we experience holographically in our mirror. Okay. That's why when I was a child, and it's still true today, if I really want to get to know somebody, I would prefer to do it in person. Because now I'm eyes to eyes. You're sitting on that chair right there. I can feel your energy directly. Right? Without saying a word. All I have to do is experience what it feels like to be in your presence. Which is to experience your energy. Which is your consciousness that is running those codes in my presence. What it feels like. Silent running. What it feels like to be in the silent presence of experiencing waves, the spirit in the waves, just feeling your energy. What does it feel like to be in your presence? Eyes to eyes, soul to soul, star to star, galaxy to galaxy, universe to universe. You and I sigh, the first sign of life, the first spirit code. The first line of communication, experiencing what love is. I experience that in me. If I'm experiencing that in you, then I know that you're experiencing the first creator. So you're a reflection of what I am because I'm a reflection of what you are because we're both experiencing the grand creator spirit. Which means you're experiencing the first line of communication, experiencing what love is, which is first light. I'm experiencing first light in me. Because I'm experiencing first light in you. Now we're one. Which means we both acknowledge there's no separation between what you are and what I am. Because we're both experiencing the one. Whoa. The first breath of life. The breath of living spirit. Which is what love is. Experiencing the first camera eye. The first volcano, the first T, the first spiral, the first spin of pure, absolute, eternal love for all creation. 
which is equal unto all sacred temples as sun temples solar arcing stars experiencing the first star the cosmic father and the cosmic mother joined as one the pink rosetta stone of sophia